start by doing a tiny bit of colour correcting using the infallible total cover. A little dab of this just under the eye helps to neutralise the dark circles so you don't need as much concealer which is nice for the daytime because you don't want to look like overly made up in the day. Okay, so BB creams, they do a bunch of things. They hydrate, illuminate, mattify and they're super sheer and look very natural. And I'm just going to dab a couple of dots here and there. It actually sort of attunes itself to your skin tone. Cool. Don't ask me how, I'm just the makeup artist, I'm not the scientist, yeah. but it, it works. And it gives a really lovely, sheer, clean looking finish like you, I actually sort of like you have no makeup on really. And I'm gonna go down the neck because that's an area that a lot of people forget. So next I'm gonna do a little bit of concealing, particularly just under your eye area. Using this True Match, it's the perfect match, creamy concealer and you can just draw this straight on like a crayon. And feel how smooth that feels. Is it like tiny? it's really waxy feeling, yeah. which means it's gonna blend really beautifully. I'm gonna go on that little friend we have here and then just the other side of the mouth. I feel like that's all you need. I, what I love about this is it's just straight on the skin and then fingers, like yeah. no brushes. It's not messy. It's a lovely consistency. So you don't sort of put on more than you need when, when it's this sort of consistency. I'm going to wash that all across the whole eyelid. And this is just gonna create some sort of soft shading and contouring. A nice big fluffy brush is the best tool for this. But just using a finer brush, I'm just gonna take that all the way around the eye, that one color. In the center of the lid, I'm gonna pop on something with a little bit of sheen to it. Just a bit of a bronzy color, just in the center of the lid. And you can use fingers to blend shadows out. You don't always have to use brushes. So I'm gonna go in something a little bit more gold. Yeah, just in the center here. You just want it to have just a little bit of reflect there. Gives it a sort of a more open-eyed look. The most simple trick to like make your eyes look bigger and more open is just using a white pencil on the bottom wet line. Just really gently applying that on the bottom. We just want to get like just enough to like lighten that rim. We're gonna apply the Paradise Mascara, which is one of my favorites because it conditions whilst making your lashes look amazing. So we're up to brows and we're gonna use the Unbeliever Brow. I think it's unbelievable because it lasts up to two days. So it's a gel consistency that's waterproof. It's smudge proof, transfer proof. I'm gonna start by dabbing it just into your brow. And that your brows are a little bit sparse all the way through. So I'm going to just let it sit for a minute after dotting it through your whole brow. It comes with this little brush. It's got a little spool on one end and a nice little flat pointy brush at the other end. And this is how we're gonna create your brow. Now that that's dried off a tiny bit, I can just use this little brush to flick it through your hairs and create a much stronger, sharper brow. So once you've created your shape with this little sharp-ended brush, turn it around and use this little spooly bit and just blend your brows up into it and makes it look a little softer. It shouldn't take more than 90 seconds to get the whole thing on. Once you've had a little bit of practice with the product and the consistency, I like the ends to be really sharp and extended. It just really gives you a beautiful brow bow. I think it frames the face a lot better when you extend it all the way and voila. Use a little bit of bronzer. Any place where the sun would naturally hit you is a good guide. A little bit in the cheekbone area and onto the front of the cheek. Sometimes I even just take it over the whole lid as well just to blend that whole area mm. in. I'm going to finish off the skin using some of the Glow Mon Amour drops. These are a super highly mineralized oil drop that's a beautiful luminizer. So just a little bit on the fingertip. It's beautiful and thin and really melts into the skin really nicely. You can also mix this into your foundation if you want an all over dewy look. And I just love how sheer this is. You can see your own skin underneath it. A couple of dabs down the center of the nose. A tiny bit on the top of the brow area here. Adds a little bit of extra dimension to the face. Finishing with lip, but this is a lovely sort of peachy nude suits all skin tones and the nice thing about these really shiny lipsticks is that when they hit the the actual edge of your lip they sort of amplify it a bit and make it look a bit more defined and larger thanks so much my pleasure